Okay, uh, in the sheet, we have uh, some of the cities uh, listed here. So uh, you are tasked to create sheets with the city names. Uh, here in our case, there are 10 cities and uh, probably we can manually click here, add sheets and rename the city uh, sheets with the city name. Uh, but assume if there are uh, multiple cities, say for example, 100 cities, it would be a tedious job to create, uh, you know, e each tab and rename the cities uh, with the city name. So here in uh, what we'll try to do is create a small macro code, uh, which will create, add the sheets and rename it with the city names. So let's go and start how to do. So to go to the code, we need to press Alt F11. when you see alt f11 you see this gray area um, this is gray because we have not added any modules modules is the place where we write codes uh, so what we'll do we'll say insert module uh, this is the area where we write the code so what we'll try to do we'll write a simple code uh, it will uh, see how many cities are there and it will create city uh, tabs and rename it with city so we'll start with sub and we'll give some name to the macro so since we are rename, naming with city name so we'll give city underscore name you can give any name so uh, we have given city name so that will be our macro name okay here in between uh, the moment you enter uh, enter it comes end sub so between sub and end sub is the place where the code goes so we'll ask macro to do as per our instructions so i say range range open bracket and here cell reference I'll give a one this is a cell reference I say and say I say select the moment you press dot you'll get all the options I'll select so this code will select the city name then what I'll do selection that is we have selected a one dot and excel down this is the function down close the bracket and select so what this means from select we have selected a1 and it goes from the selection to the end how it needs to go down wise so it says excel down so it's nothing but all uh, control down and we do control down it goes to this uh, end of the range so it will select the range here in this case it will go to a11 then i'll give one variable we don't know how many cities are there so we'll we are telling the macro to identify how many cities are there so to identify i give a variable name total city this is you can give any name if cell row minus one now what is this when the cursor goes here 
11 uh, it identifies the true is as 11 but since first one is a header so we'll minus 1 so that is active cell row minus 1 so we will get the number 10 variable now we'll loop through loop that is uh, from Bangalore to Chandigarh in our case so for that we'll write for it is a for loop I given a variable I is one to add last one that is our variable what we are given total city in our case it would be 10 so 1 to 10 it will do next i that means from 1 to 10 it will loop and between this we will write the code to loop through what it is to do from 1 to 10 so i am giving one more variable total sheet to identify how many sheets are there in this workbook because every time you add one sheet it will change the sheet count will be changed uh, uh, by one more so i say active workbook sheets count it will count how many sheets are there and it will pick the variable now I'm giving another variable so that it is i plus 1 oh, sheet 1 one is the index sheet one is the first sheet in our workbook you can give the name also or sheet name then we'll pick or uh, we'll pick the city name by giving a variable say we'll name it as a uh, city name what would be the city name? It would be range. We to give range reference. It is in A column to A and X. X is a variable which we give. So every time it loops, it will change. So it will go loop through Bangalore to Chandigarh. And I close the bracket and text. It means the text in this particular cell first time it will be Bangalore then the city name will change to Chennai then Hyderabad and it will go through until Chandigarh so we pick the name variable and after that now uh, every time you need to add one sheet and a name so we'll say sheets add and where to add we can add before and after but we'll add after after where after the last so how to get the last one we say sheets and sheets count automatically it will count sheets when it is one so one plus two and it's two so it will count and it will add at the end and we need to rename the sheets sheets total sheet that's one that is the last sheet which we have added so we need to add and we need to name it name it with our city 
so we'll give our variable a name yes it's our code and done and we'll try and see if it works so we can run line by line to run line by line it is f8 so i'll press f8 so it will run line by line first it will say range a1 select so you can see the cursor is on a1 then it says selection to the end by pressing excel down and it has gone to a11 you can see and i say here now total city is empty if you keep cursor over this variable it shows empty because we have not yet executed the line once we execute the line it picks up the value total city is 10 so we have given for i is equal to 1 to total city 10 so from 1 to 10 it will do now see f8 now total sheet is empty once we executed this line it will count total sheets are 1 now x is empty this is 1 and this is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so x value is 2 now sheet 1 that's the first sheet it will select and city name it will pick from a2 a2 is Bangalore now city name is blank since we have not executed once we execute it picks Bangalore and sheets add after sheets count sheet count is 1 now it will add after sheet so after sheet 1 it will add and you can see one sheet is added and now we need to add rename this sheet so which sheet total sheet was one now we have added one so we are, we are adding one so total sheet plus one two so this is a sheet two and what name it is to rename Bengaluru see here it is rename then it this one now it will go to next i that is second one okay now total sheet is it was one now it will become two and it will loop to same it will go pick the second value now it is chennai and if you see run add Kolkata then Mumbai on this is the last one Chandigarh so what happens after that the last sheet it will not loop through because it's already done total city was 10 after 10 it will come out of the code now ends up and you can see it has created sheets the city names so try this code and see how it works and still if you have any doubt you can message uh, write a comment and i'll get back to you until next macro it's bye from sarunan jayaraman